Some moves being made here at Toronto City Hall that would require landlords to jump through a few extra hoops at an added cost before any tenant would be removed from their apartment as a result of a rent eviction. It's about not following the law. It's about illegality. It's so sue me, catch me if you can. It's a completely deplorable practice. For years, those advocating for renters in the city facing eviction from landlords claiming they're renovating an apartment or building have said new rules are needed. Now, Toronto looks to be following in the footsteps of other Canadian cities, including Hamilton, to keep landlords from issuing N13 notices to vacate the premises. As it stands, there is nothing in place to confirm that landlords are actually doing the renovations they say they're going to do, and there's no way to ensure that tenants are being offered their legal right to move back in when those renovations are done. The new bylaw would require property owners to get a permit from the city before renovations or repairs, and possibly find accommodations for the tenants before allowing them to move back in. If a landlord wants to give an N13, which says, I'm going to renovate this, you're going to have to leave completely, then they're going to have to show, they have to get a license that says, I'm going to renovate. It's one thing to enact a new bylaw, another for the city to ensure it will work, especially under circumstances that would otherwise involve the province and landlord and tenant board. We don't always know uh, what innovative public policy aimed at protecting people is going to do. We look at the best evidence that's out there, what other municipalities are doing, and we pull the trigger on it. The City of Ottawa will now also be looking at similar ways to protect renters from landlords pushing them out. Advocates say the examples are already in place. It's time for all to step up. This will weed out the good from the bad. And in New Westminster, British Columbia, the practice stopped. Hamilton has a bylaw. The template is there. The city has to do it. They have to do it now. Although the premise had general support here at City Hall today, it does take some time to actually implement. It has to go through more approvals, a budget process. It's not expected to actually take place until the fall of 2025. Mark McAllister, City News.